hey guys and welcome back to my channel i hope everybody is doing well today welcome back to precious kitchen today we are going to be cooking creamy pesto pasta chicken so this recipe is from let's find the go islands vibe cooking i think she's called yeah islands vibe cooking that's her channel here so i'm going to be following her recipe also we got this granchi blank blank i don't know how to pronounce it we're having this this wine that is from South Africa. So you guys, I know I'm off the camera, off shot. You guys know I love my dry wines and I thought this would go lovely with the recipe today. If you guys are new to my channel and you haven't watched one of my cooking videos, I mainly do try and haul for my channel anyways, but I love cooking. Cooking is one of my passions. So, I know everybody's not here for the cooking videos, but I like to do one every Friday. Um, and obviously today we're doing this creamy pesto chicken pasta. I've never made it before. Um, so I'm quite curious to see how it's going to turn out. But guys, first of all, I am gasping for a drink. So let's taste this wine. Obviously, I like my big glasses for my wine. Please don't drink if you're over age, under age. Why do I say that every week? If you're over age, <laughs> don't drink if you're over age. <laughs> okay, so let's try this. Let's see. Perfect. It's not as crisp as what I usually like. got more of a fruity taste it's not it's not very very dry i like extra dry drinks so i'll show you on the back it's got like a, a guide so it tells you you know if it's like how dry or sweet it is anyway this is not about <laughs> anyway guys this is not about the wine it is about the food so let's get you guys set up. Just bringing my lighting in. As you guys know, your girl is not a professional, but I do my best to show you guys what is happening. Okay. So, actually, let me just show you guys what we have. So obviously for this creamy pesto pasta we've got i've got my chicken and i'll just show you guys over there i don't really want to touch it too much because it's raw um but i've got chicken that i've diced up there i don't know if that's on camera but anyway i've got chicken that i've diced up there and i've also got some parmesan cheese that i've grated um and then for seasoning we have italian style seasoning um we also have these mixed herbs she did use um some other type of um seasoning i forgot what it's called um i think it's grande seasoning or something like that anyways when i googled it it was basically like mixed herb seasoning we've also got some mixed minced garlic some mixed garlic <laughs> we've got paprika I love paprika um this is not in the recipe but i love black pepper i literally cannot cook any meal without black pepper like no it's just not right for me <laughs> um and then also we're going to be using some fresh double cream um some also some pesto that's just plain pesto she uses um some type of app pasta but i'm going to be using these fusilis pasta just because i thought they would hold the sauce a little bit more better um so that is what i'm going to be using um also olive oil 
have lost the lid so that is why that is on there <laughs> uh, but yeah so okay so guys whilst the water is boiling i'm going to be she seasons her chicken okay my people So, one, uh, whilst my water is over there boiling, I'm going to be seasoning the chicken. She basically, I'm going to leave the link for her video down below. I, I just realised like um, last week I didn't leave Trisha's, Trisha's link to her video, but I will leave this lady's link. Um, anyways, I'm going to be doing paprika. She puts like her seasoning in a bowl. Um, and then just like puts least half of it um, in the bowl and then puts half of it on the chicken but I'm just doing it as I go along <laughs> FYI guys um, I don't do measurements <laughs> unless it's a cake then I'm kind of like okay I need to kind of follow the measurements um, but if not I don't really care <laughs> this is the Italian seasoning just coming out ridiculously slowly. I've got a right mind to just take this lid off, but I don't know how I'm going to get it off. I'm going to fight with that that Italian seasoning. Okay, water is boiling, so I think we can probably. Should we put? Let's put our um our pasta in. Now I'm doing double her recipe. She uses two chickens, two chicken breasts, and um, however much pasta. I am just gonna do like double because on Saturdays it's Friday. <laughs> on Saturdays I don't like to cook, so it's either I'll have it for lunch or I will have it for oh I'll have it for dinner. I'll basically just put the whole thing in. Is that too much pasta? I don't know because they're quite big. Okay, so they're in. I literally put the majority of the bag in. <laughs> Only a little bit left. Anyways, back to the chicken. So we've got, what else do we need to put in? Oh, I don't know if she, where is my phone? I don't know if she um I don't know if she actually put the pesto on the chicken. I've never used pesto before so I don't know. I don't know what is what guys. So let's see if she if she put the pesto on the chicken. season um obviously the mints the mints the mints garlic oh this is so strong i want to put quite a bit of light garlic um, and obviously i've got like double the chicken so um let's leave that spoon there because we're going to need it and then obviously i'm putting black pepper but she obviously didn't have that in her recipe this is supposed to be like a 30 minute meal so <laughs> i don't know anyways this little sort of frying pan thing is really good um you don't need that much oil when you're using it so i'm just going to put a drizzle because what i found with this pan is that when you put too much oil in it it spits so because it's like mainly for shallow frying i'm gonna use a glove 
because I don't really want to get all this into my nails. I'm very curious to see how big those pastas go for Fusilli. Okay, glove on. And I'm just gonna season the chicken. Can you guys see what's happening? Hopefully you can, if not, I'm so sorry. I filmed this guys, I put, I cut my chicken in half to make it a bit thinner. So they call it butterflying. And then I cut it into like strips. You guys, this wine is absolutely amazing. Seriously. I'm on to my second glass. <laughs> Delish. So, now that the chicken is basically done, we are going to, oh guys, you guys are off shot. We are going to, the next thing she does is she adds some olive oil to a new pan. This pan is quite deep, so I hope you guys are getting the shot. Okay, that's the best it's getting. Okay, so she gets some olive oil, puts that in there. And then she adds, <laughs> if I had guys, I did actually check some of the measurements, so. I'm actually being quite good today. She adds some garlic to the pan. Oh my god. Okay. I don't want this to burn. Let's mix it very quickly. And then she says, now will be a good time to add your cream. So I'm adding my cream. This is double cream, guys. Cream. So now we're mixing that that's in. Let me see if I bring you guys any closer, will that help? Okay, that's a bit better, isn't it? So that's the cream. Then she just seasons some more, basically. So, oh, guess what? The pasta's actually done as well. I've got to tell you guys that. This is what happens. I don't know if it's a good idea to film whilst drinking, <laughs> but anyways, I'm just adding this Italian seasoning. This season is going to last me forever because I don't know if you guys are picking it up on camera but it's literally just coming out like drip drabs. Let's do that. Then we're going to add some more paprika. Mix that up. Probably add a bit more paprika than that. some black pepper like I said she doesn't add black pepper to hers but you guys will know that I love black pepper now I'm gonna turn mine down to number four because um, my stove is very strong so obviously you know you guys know that I grated parmesan cheese before she said you can add the cheese as much as you want she likes hers creamy not cheesy but i love cheese so i'm gonna save some of the rest of it to 
add on afterwards. So that's it guys. And now I'm gonna add my pasta in. Oh my god. There you go. I feel like I should have got more cream. But anyways. Oh guys, that looks amazing. What I'm going to do is add a little bit of water. It's not on the list, but <laughs> I just added that for my kettle, only because um, I should have had more cream. I'm going to now add my chicken. That's how the chicken looks. Just add that in. I'm gonna turn it back up now because now that everything's in there, you want that to just cook a little bit. Oh my god, guys, we didn't add the pesto. Oh my god, okay. I knew there was something missing. How embarrassing. Okay. The pesto, in goes the pesto guys. She adds like two and a half tablespoons. I'm gonna add four. Oh, guys, that is ridiculous that I actually forgot to add the pesto. I don't think it matters too much when you add it though. <laughs> Anyways, pesto's in. Mmm, that smells delicious guys. To be honest with you, I don't think I've ever tried pesto. Oh, but guys, just have a look at that. Like, seriously. Like, wow. Can we just add a little bit more pesto? Like, seriously. <laughs> and I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese. Mm, guys, this looks so good. So you guys know the drill already. Let's go and eat this. Okay, guys. So this is it. We've made it. We've made the pesto pasto chicken. <laughs> I cannot believe, guys. First of all, I forgot to put the pesto in the pasta. <laughs> in the sauce. Second of all... I forgot to do my broccoli. If you guys watched last week's video, you guys know I told you I love broccoli. <laughs> broccoli is my favorite vegetable and I like to have vegetables with my meals. But we forgot the, um, gosh, I'm slurring my words. We forgot, <laughs> we forgot the vegetables. Guys, literally, it's at 5.53 and your girl's slurring her words. I think it might be this drink. And it is slightly humid, so if you drink, then you know that, I don't know, there's something about the heat and alcohol that just works double time. And also, I'm hungry, so... The alcohol's definitely got to me. Anyways, this is the pasta. Hope you guys are getting it on camera. Thumbnail. I did sprinkle some more Parmesan cheese on top, because you guys know I love cheese. Um, yeah, let's try it. I've got my wine, by the way, guys. As you can see, I hope it's in a shot. Um, but yeah, let's try this pasta. Mmm. That was the chicken. Mmm. guys thumbs up to what's this girl's name we're gonna link her and we're gonna tag her 
to Ireland's Vibe Cooking. She killed it with this recipe. Even though we added the pesto too late, um, I did it, probably didn't follow her measurements. If you guys decide to watch her video, which I will link down below, you're gonna probably say, Precious, your measurements, like what, what was going on? Even though she used a different pasta to me, I still think her recipe was amazing. What have I been doing all this time? Not eating pesto. Mm. Guys. Mm -mm. I hope you're eating dinner because this video is going to make you very hungry. I'm not sure she cut her chicken smaller. Can't remember seeing it, but um, it's probably a bit easier if your chicken's smaller. Mm. Thumbs up from me, guys. I think I might say that this beats last, last week's dish. Amazing. Amazing. Guys, one thing I wanted to mention that I thought was very interesting. I've never really seen people, heard people talk about how much Parmesan cheese is in America. But in the UK, for a small slice of Parmesan cheese, it's like four pounds. Um, last week I went to Sainsbury's. If you are from the UK, then you'll know Sainsbury's is just like a big grocery, well-known grocery store. I went to Sainsbury's to get the ingredients for that meal. Um, and the Parmesan cheese was like four quid for that small slice. It was amazing, don't get me wrong. Cheese was lovely. You guys saw my face last week. If you watched that video, if you didn't, I'll link it below. Um, but this week I decided to go to Aldi. Like this wine is from Aldi. The pasta's from Aldi, everything's from Aldi. The chicken, everything is from Aldi this week. Um, I spent much more less, and get this guys, I got the cheese for less than half the price that I paid for the cheese in, in Sainsbury's. I mean, you can beg to differ, there's probably different qualities of Parmesan cheese. I think in the UK, we eat more cheddar cheese than Parmesan. When I think of like American YouTubers or people that I've seen like videos and programs that I've watched from America, they eat more Parmesan cheese and I don't know how much it costs there. If you are from America um, and you watch my video, comment down below how much Parmesan cheese is because I would really like to know. <laughs> I don't mind paying for something that I know I'm going to enjoy and it's going to be good quality, don't get me wrong. But I just thought it was very interesting that Parmesan cheese was so much. Um, I do like delving into different cheeses because I love cheese, as I always say. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd add this in this video. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going to eat this food before it gets cold because I'm sure it tastes the best when it's warm. It's amazing, guys. Please check that girl's video out. Um, follow her recipe. If you're daring enough, follow my recipe. <laughs> they both work out good and look good and taste good. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Let me know, as usual, what you might want to see next week, what you want to see me cook, what you want to see me drink. Guys, I think tonight I'm going to be like, I don't know what, in Land of Nod very, very, very soon after this meal. I'm going to edit this video and get it up for you guys. It's not going to be heavily edited, so don't expect perfection. You're going to see all the, <laughs> all the, what do they call the bloopers and stuff? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you always be notified every time I upload videos and I will see you soon guys.